Hi there, this is Darren O'Neill from Darren's Tech Tutorials and DarrenO'Neill.eu. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to create Windows Server 2019 on AWS. So to get started, you'll need to log into your AWS console. And when you're logged in, you want to click on Services and then EC2. Okay, so in the next screen, we're going to click to launch an instance. So I'm going to click this blue launch instance button here. And when we move on to the next screen, I'm going to search for 2019 and I'm going to press enter. Cool, I'm going to click Microsoft Windows Server 2019 base and I'm going to select. I'm going to leave this as the micro so I'll be free tier eligible. Uh, just bear in mind if you select something other than the micro you may be charged. So I'm going to then click next, configure instance details. So I'm going to leave a lot of this as the default, I'm going to leave it in the default VPC. Um, I'm not going to bother selecting anything else here and I'm going to click next to add storage. I'm going to leave it as 30 gigs of storage as this is only a test. I'm going to add one tag and I'm just going to say name with a capital N. I'm going to call it my Windows 2019 server. And I'm going to click next to configure the security group. Um, I'm just going to leave it open to 0.0.0.0 forward slash zero. Just beware, if you leave it like this, it means anywhere in the world can uh, attach itself to your port 3389. So anyone can try RDP into your server. You may need to lock this down if you're using it for a production server. So just bear that in mind. I'm then going to click review and launch. Perfect. And I'm just going to double check my settings. I have a micro, so I shouldn't be charged. And I'm leaving RDP open from anywhere in the world. So that's okay for me. So I'm going to click launch. And I'm going to be asked for a key pair. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new key pair. Just to make sure I have it, I'm going to call it my Windows Server. So make sure you um, have a key pair that you can use. And don't worry, if you're downloading one now, we'll show you how to use it to connect to your Windows instance. So just click download key pair. And I'm just going to save this to my machine. So once I confirm I have that down, we'll then click no, yeah, we've already downloaded it. Perfect. And I want to click launch instance. Okay, so this is going to begin to launch our instance. So click on your instance ID here. And we should see it. Perfect. It's beginning to boot up. Now this may take a few minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and we'll meet back here in two minutes. Hey guys, we're back here and my machine has um, finally started running. So once your machine is in a running state, what you need to do is right click on it click get windows password now sometimes you'll get a warning here that says you need to wait four minutes to get your password so if you are getting that just wait one or two more minutes and, and come back to this step okay so i'm going to click browse and i'm just going to go to my downloads and i'm going to select my windows server key i'm going to click open and i'm going to click decrypt password so i'm just going to copy this and don't worry guys the, the server will be deleted well before you see this video so I'm going to click close and now I'm going to open RDP here and let me pull this over so you can see it. So I'm just going to type in my public IP here, which is 34.251.241.172 and I'll hit return and then I'll click connect. Okay. And we're being prompted here. So let me click more choices and I want to click minus backslash administrator and I'm going to pop in that password that I have on the clipboard and I'm going to click OK. OK and you can see where look, this all looks good. I'm going to click yes and hopefully now we should be brought to our Windows server. So let me just pull this over so we can see and let me just expand this out a little bit for you guys. And let me just pause the video here while we're waiting for this to load up. Okay, and that's it. You can see we now have server 2019 running on AWS. We're connected in. We have a public IP. So hopefully that video was useful. If it was useful, please do like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please do comment below. And if I can help, I certainly will. Thank you for watching.